Hi everyone, this is Rakesh Negi and I once again welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about RAD which stands for Ram Air Turbine. Basically the RAD is installed in the aircraft and is connected to a hydraulic pump and or an electrical generator. In some small aircraft, the RAD is a permanent installation. But in modern commercial jets, the RAD is used only during emergency conditions. That's why the RAD is flushed inside the aircraft structure. The RAD is used to recover hydraulic power or electrical power. If we talk about the speed of operation of the RAD, the RAD operates efficiently for speeds above 140 knots. And in Airbus 320, if RAD is in use, we should know that the RAD stalls at a speed of 125 knots. That the purpose of RAD is almost the same in all modern commercial jets. So let me take an example of the RAD in Airbus 320. We should know that in Airbus 320, the RAD can be deployed automatically or can be deployed manually as well. The purpose of RAD is to provide hydraulic power or electrical power. So before I explain the purpose of RAD in Airbus 320, let me first give a brief description about the hydraulic system in Airbus 320. Make a note that in Airbus 320, there are three different hydraulic systems which are given the names as green, blue and yellow hydraulic systems. The green and yellow hydraulic systems, they are pressurized by the engine driven pumps. But remember, the blue hydraulic system is pressurized by an electric pump. If this electric pump for the blue system fails, then the standby pump is the rad pump, which is operated by the rad. Suppose the aircraft is in flight and there comes a situation in which the blue system is lost. The checklist calls up to revive the blue hydraulic system. So to recover the blue hydraulic system, on the hydraulic panel, there is a push button by the name rad man on. Press this push button and the rad deploys. So let me take the other case of electrical failure in flight. Before this, you should know that in electrical system, there are two main bus bars named as AC bus 1 and AC bus 2. If these two main bus bars are lost in air and the speed is greater than 100 knots, then the rad deploys automatically. And if not, then rad can be manually deployed by using a push button by the name man on. It is also guarded red and this push button is present on the emergency electrical power panel. So now you're knowing how the red deploys in case of hydraulic failure or electrical failure. Now let me explain you what happens once the red deploys. On deployment of the red, its two bladed fan is driven by the windmilling effect. So this drive is given to a pump called as the red pump. The red pump then pressurizes the blue hydraulic system. So the blue hydraulic system gets pressurized. Once the blue hydraulic system gets pressurized, it, it operates a unit called as CSMG. Noted, it's constant speed motor generator. It has a motor and a generator, which is the motor is the hydraulic motor and the generator is an electrical generator. This electrical generator is also driven when this CSMG MG is operating. Uh, once the generator has its electrical parameters within tolerance, then it comes in line and starts powering the emergency network, which consists of only limited bus bars like the AC essential and its shed bus, and the DC essential and its shed bus are powered. So these are the bus bars which are powered during electrical emergency from RAD. So now let me explain you what happens when there is hydraulic failure and the RAD has deployed. Same thing happens as like in electric emergency, the rad two bladed fan is driven by the windmilling effect and this on this blade on being driven provides drive to the rad pump. The rad pump is connected with the blue hydraulic system, hence it pressurizes the blue hydraulic system and this is how the blue hydraulic system is recovered. So now you are knowing how the rad is deployed and how does it operate. So I hope you are clear with the topic RAT, that is the RAM air turbine. If there are any doubts, do ask me in the comments below. And this ends our today's topic. I'll come up again in the next class with a new video. Till then, enjoy learning. Thank you. Namaste.